Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel, you're watching Uncle Roundy Cracketh a Packeth. And today we're going to talk about the value of opening booster packs. Not the monetary value, but more in terms of whether it is a worthwhile pursuit. Because I was talking to a co-worker the other night, and he said that he thought he was going to stop buying boxes and packs, and that he was just going to get the singles that he wanted. And for him, that's probably a good idea. But for me personally, I, there is a lot of value in cracking a pack because it puts things in front of my face that I would ordinarily not see otherwise and that I would not think about. And it kind of lets me explore all kinds of uh, facets of magic. No list card in this set booster, but we do have a nice little treasure token in the back here. Uh, and we will start here. So yeah, I like to crack packs. I like to see what I get and think about other uh, aspects of magic because you know we got that uh, we got that Rada uh, Heart of Keld out of a Core Twenty One pack the other day, and I'd never seen that card. I'd never heard of that card, and now I'm wanting to build a whole commander deck around it. It's exciting. That's a really cool piece of artwork right there on that art card. It's, ooh, we have a foil land today. Very shiny. 15% chance of hitting that. That's an Alpine Meadow, a Mountain Plains. Not too bad. Not too shabby. I don't like that hit right there. That's very nice. Okay. So here we go. So yeah, I like seeing these kinds of things. I like seeing what colors I'm going to get in a Kaldheim set booster. As we know, it's mostly a bunch of cards of the same color, at least in the common slot. Uh, so this one is going to be black commons for as long as we have commons and then once we get to the uncommons it'll get a little more uh it'll get a little more exciting uh sacrifice priest to the haunted edge i don't think i've seen this one yet tar creature gets minus x minus x until end of turn where x is the number of snow lands you control Ooh, zombie cleric it was the zombie wolf village rights sacrifice a creature pay one black and draw two cards that sounds gonna be infernal pet that's how I feel about the cat sometimes. She's my infernal pet. Put a plus one plus one counter on infernal pet and it gains flying until end of turn. That's neat. Second spell each turn is more of an is it thing. Boy, we got a lot of commons in this one. Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Ah, here we go. Finally some uncommons. Litjara Glade Warden. It's a changeling and it's a shapeshifter. There's a lot of changelings and shapeshifters in this set. Very cool if you like that kind of thing. Ooh, a land. Another land. Enters the battlefield tapped. Uh, this this land doesn't seem as exciting. It's got a pretty heavy mana cost to... A lot of, a lot of limitations on this particular one. Gotta pay five mana and tap it and sacrifice it. And you create a token. It's a copy, but with a plus one, plus one on it. And you can only activate it when you get a sword. I don't like that very much. Maybe I'll like the next card more. Ooh, a Cosmos Elixir. That's not too bad. A little hit right there. Artifact for four mana at the beginning of your instep. Draw a card if your life total is greater than your starting total. Otherwise, you gain two life. Yeah, that's not a. That's a pretty okay hit right there. I like that. And we've got a Pilfering Hawk in the back here. Uh, just a just a random Snowbird behind it. And then our foil foil common. A Guardian Glade Walker. So yeah, like, looking at different things in this pack, the Cosmos Elixir is a little exciting. Makes me think about life gain, which isn't the greatest mechanic to build around, but you know, sometimes you see something new. And then, you know, of course, our fancy little treasure token. That is quite the goblet of gems there. But yeah, we got some, we got some foils out of this pack. The foils are pretty. The foils are a little muddier these days. They don't really pop as much as they used to. Uh, in my opinion, but, you know, lots of, lots of shiny rainbow time. It's rave time, folks. <laughs> and yeah, pretty good rare, too. Um, that was an okay pack. That was an okay day. Uh, not a super lucrative pack, but, you know, it's always a fun time here on Around the Wheel Industries. Let's, let's, uh, knock back some Cosmos Elixir and, uh, call it a day, why don't we? <laughs> 